good. So on a, on a day where offense yeah, was good, you know pretty wild on the field, it was your defense that really made a difference. Four turnovers, y'all turned that into 24 points. Can you talk about just how much of a difference your defense made tonight? Well, I, mean, I think just a team, complete team win. I thought special teams, we executed well offensively. We're as good as anybody in the country and defense. And we knew going against this offensive attack, they've been putting points up. They're a very talented offensive unit over here at Hampton. So it was going to take a team win. And I thought today, uh, offense had our back, defense had their back, and special teams had all our backs. And I think when you play like that, it, it really changed the morale. I think at halftime, we were down a little bit and just got to stay the course. That's why I'm always talking about the process. It don't always go your way. But you gotta trust it, and if you just follow it and believe in it, it usually yields, and it yields in a big game like today. All the games you've coached, all the games you've even played as a player, where does this rank up in terms of just the, the ups, the ebbs, the flows, the drama that goes with it? And it was a rivalry game. <laughs> That's one of the best wins I've been a part of. I think when you look at it and the significance of the win, going into a bye week and getting your team ready, you don't want to go into a bye week with a loss. And then just making sure that you you come out and you compete. And I thought our guys did that. Uh, just an outstanding performance. I thought our quarterback played extremely well. Our offense has been lights out all year. And Coach Sherman and the offensive staff is doing an outstanding job with those guys. But this race up there is one of the best ones I've been able to partake in. If someone had told you over 80 points would be scored between two schools and almost 1,000 yards total offense between those schools, Involving yours, would you believe it? Yes, uh, because we knew who he was going against, and uh, I wish we played a little bit better defense. But we did in the second half. We played when we had to. Uh, they made some big plays. Uh, they went up, and caught the ball really well, and it's just a when you look at it, you see points, you see yards. But at the end of the day, I mean, from what these guys were in the spring until prior to me getting there in May. I don't, nobody could figure that we could get this football team playing like this uh, in year one. And that's a testament to the assistant coaches and these players for buying into the process. Coach, Justin Smith is one of your go-to receivers. He had a few drops in this game. Obviously, he wasn't shaking, though. What about his mindset there in overtime to make that big catch and put y'all down on, like, the two-yard line? Talk to me about that play. Well, you know, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. And you just got to keep going to them. Had been healthy all week. Uh, miss a little bit of practice, but just a game as a senior you don't want to miss. And you know when you need a play, it's about players. Tell people all the time when the game is on the line, players got to make plays. And we got a few players on our football team here at Dolphin. You got your first battle of the Bay win. How's that feel? Well, first of many, I hope. And uh, what a way to start it. Overtime victory on the road. And I mean, who could imagine this? Uh, I don't think this is a story anybody could have wrote. That's why I really believe that the Magic Kingdom is north and it's over in Norfolk. And I really believe that the Magic is headed that way. I think we onto something miracle this year. And the God's been good to us. Nobody could have thought that we would have took over in, in May and been able to get a football team to believe and play the way they're playing. And all I can say is I'm grateful for it and I'm thankful for these young men and these coaches. And Coach, offensively, like you said, you guys have been scoring points all year long. But in a game like this, rivalry game, overtime, to put up 47, what do you think that does for y'all moving forward? Well, we know we can score. Uh, I mean, that's the only people that can, we believe that can stop us is us. And we, we understand how hard it is. Now, when we start believing that, then I think you're going to really see us at our best. And defensively, it's, it's new. But I got to play hard. And, and when we need it, they get it. Uh, we've been working on turnovers, and we're starting to get them. And that really got us back in the ball game. And it's great to see the energy, the excitement. I mean, you can look at a team when they're ahead, and you can say that's a good football team. But when you're down, it's a true testament of your character. And I ride with these guys any day of the week.